Hi, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Debbie Reed and today I'm going to cook for you a delicious entree made with Philadelphia brand cream cheese. This is going to be a um, casserole that we bake in the oven. Uh, it's going to have a lot of um, delicious ingredients in it. There's some chicken, some bacon, spinach, roasted red peppers, artichokes, all in a really delicious cream sauce um, made with the uh, Philadelphia brand cream cheese. I kind of, it's kind of a take on a um, chicken florentine as well as a little bit of a nudge from chicken marsala because I'm going to put a little bit of some marsala wine in the um, cream sauce. So let me go ahead and let you know what I've done um, now um, up to this point. Uh, I've gone ahead and I've cooked off 12 ounces of egg noodles, the medium size, so they're going to be ready to um, toss into the casserole right at the very end before we bake it. Um, in the skillet here, I cooked off four pieces of bacon, four slices of bacon. But what I did is I cut them, I didn't cut them in little pieces, I cut them about an inch so there's, they're a good little bite to them, um, so they won't disappear too much into the casserole. You'll actually see it and get to taste it. I took the bacon out of the skillet and into the bacon drippings, I cooked up one shallot and I cooked up um, one clove of garlic with that. Just did that for maybe two, three minutes to let that go ahead and soften. At that point, I put in one and a quarter cups of milk in an eight ounce package of the cream cheese that I had cubed. So that's where it is at this point. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start heating up just a little bit. And in order to finish this off and get it ready to put into the casserole, I'm going to add just a few more ingredients. I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. A little bit of some pepper, probably get about, hope about another quarter teaspoon or so. There we go. And about the same of the salt. So there we go, our seasoning. And I'm going to go ahead and whisk that in. And then the very last thing I'm going to put in is a little bit of the Marsala wine. That's a, um, um, kind of a sweet wine. Sometimes people use it as a dessert wine, but it's just going to give a really distinct, delicious flavor in the background of this dish. So, go ahead and do that. I'm going to pour it. I don't want to pour it directly just over, get too much in there. I'm going to only do about two tablespoons. Don't want a whole lot, just a nice little bit of some flavor in there. And always be careful if you are adding any kind of alcohol overheat. I have an electric stove so I don't have the open flame going, but you still want to be very, very careful because you don't want to start, start anything on fire. Okay, so we're going to stir that in and just let that cook for just a few minutes. I'm just going to turn it down and leave it here on low just for a few minutes while we go ahead and put the rest of the casserole together. It'll stay hot on that electric burner. Okay, so for the rest of our ingredients into the casserole, in the bowl here I have two cups of cooked chicken that I've cubed. I'm going to add a 10 ounce package of, um, this is uh, cooked spinach, chopped spinach. I uh, went ahead and actually just bought it in the refrigerator overnight, uh, but you can go ahead and, and microwave it to go ahead and thaw it out. Put it in a very big, thick, clean kitchen towel and squeeze it over the sink to get all the liquid out of it. You don't want any extra liquid in here thinning out your casserole. So we have that in there. Then I'm going to put in some, this is, um, you can roast them on your own if you like, but I've taken it easy and taken it um, help from the store. This is some chopped roasted red pepper. So that's going to go in there. And then... Same thing with the spinach as some artichokes here. These are um, artichoke hearts. Again, got them frozen at the grocery store, thawed them out in the refrigerator overnight. It's three quarters of a cup I've, I've chopped up, um, so they're a little bit more bite size. Drain them also very wash and put a little bit of um, paper towel on them to get any extra water out. So that's going to go in. And then our bacon will go in. And at this point, I'm just going to kind of toss it around a little bit. Oh, it's looking good already. Very colorful. All sorts of colors going on in there. It's going to be one delicious casserole. All right. Now, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and take my noodles. Already cooked and drained. I'm going to put them in the bowl. Oh, I have a very big bowl here. There's going to be a lot of people. And again, just kind of start tossing it around a little bit. I'm going to start incorporating everything. I'm going to put the dressing in. I want to make sure everything gets 
mixed together really well as well as coated really well with the cheese. Oops, fleeing things everywhere. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully carefully add the sauce. I hope I won't wear it. stir this together. Once I get this all incorporated, the last thing I'm going to add, um, I actually have some of the um, already shredded Kraft cheese mozzarella with the Philly in it, so, so it's going to melt really nice. It's a two cup bag. I'm going to put one cup into the casserole and then I'm going to reserve the other cup. And at the very end of the baking time, I'm going to go ahead and um, put the cheese on it about 10 minutes the rest of that so it gets nice and melted and bubbly. It's going to be delicious. Okay, so here we go. Get all this. I should have used a bigger bowl. Actually, I don't know if I have a bigger bowl. <laughs> so this, this is about what I'm stuck with. So, but it'll work. We'll make it work. Okay, there we go. Okay, so our last sauce there. Let's get our cup of the mozzarella in. So while I finish continuing stirring this, uh, let me let you know what I'm going to do next. I have the oven preheated at 400. I'm going to transfer the um, ingredients in my bowl here into a greased baking dish, um, cover it, and go ahead and bake it probably 30 minutes or so to get it going. Um, I'll check it at that point. If it looks like it's um, pretty well all heated through and everything's nice and melted and bubbly, I'll go ahead and uncover it and then put the rest of the mozzarella on and give it another 5 to 10 minutes to get that um, all cooked and melted and a little uh, nice and golden brown on the top. So here we go. That's what we look like. I hope you can see it. I will go ahead and get that baked off and we'll be back with you as soon as it's done. Hi, our casserole is ready to take out of the oven. So let me go ahead and put my mitts on here and get it out and I can show you how delicious it looks. Oh, quite heavy too. They said this is going to feed an army. Here we go. I put it in an 8 by 11 and a half baking dish that I'd sprayed with nonstick cooking spray, covered it with aluminum foil, baked it for 30 minutes at 400 degrees, then um, took it out, uncovered it, put the rest of the mozzarella on top, put it back in for about five, seven minutes. So here we go. Let me go ahead and, again, I can't tell if you can see it, but doesn't that look good? It's very hot. I can still, still, hear, still hear it sizzling. So I'm going to try and take a little corner out here. So, oops. The plate a little closer. There we go. Oh, look at that! Like delicious cheese, yum. Okay. There we go. And it had in it the base was um, all the ingredients are there's the egg noodles in here, the cute chicken, the bacon, the spinach, the roasted red peppers, artichoke hearts. Then the sauce was made with a little bit of. Un, uh, excuse me, shallot and garlic and a little milk and of course our delicious cream cheese and a little bit of marsala, salt, pepper, nutmeg. Actually, I'm talking so it has a chance to cool. I don't want to burn my mouth. So hopefully that has had enough. And then I'll toss in a little bit of that uh, delicious shredded mozzarella with the Philly in it. So let's go ahead and see if I can steal a bite here and not get, have it be too, too hot. See, it's steaming. Mm. I think you're gonna like it. Got a lot of flavors going on. Got a big piece of bacon in there that tasted really good. The marsala in the background just gives it a nice little hint of something. It's not overpowering at all. It just gives it a nice little taste in the background. So there you go. I hope you try my recipe. I think you're gonna enjoy it.